Earn Schedule, Concept and Technique. Earn Schedule was developed by Wald Lipka, in 2003. It was included in PMI's Practice Standard for EVM, 2011 edition. It is also included in PMI's Project Management Body of Knowledge, 6th edition, 2017, as an emerging practice. Earn Schedule is an extension to Earn Value methodology. It uses EVM data such as Planned Value and Earn Value. There are several benefits of using Earn Schedule. It is more intuitive because ES computations are in time units rather than cost units. It overcomes known shortcomings of cost-based schedule indicators, the schedule variance, SVN Schedule Performance Index, SPI. SV reverts to $0 variance and SPI, to 1 at the end of project, even for a late finish project. But ES behaves correctly through all phases of early and late finish projects. So it has better predictive ability. Earn Schedule provides basis for performing schedule analysis. Earn Schedule can be described as the value of time increment where the earned value at the status date should have been accrued. As seen in this graph, Earn Schedule is determined by projecting earned value at the status date, which is actual time, 80 or 10 months in the graph, onto the planned value or PV curve. The time associated with this projection on PV curve is the earned schedule or ES. As seen here, value of ES is 6 months. It means the project is behind schedule by 4 months on status date. To understand how to calculate earned schedule, let's look at the sample data shown in the table. As discussed before, earned schedule can be computed graphically by projecting EV at status period onto PV curve and then taking X intercept of this projection. Actual ES computation formula uses linear interpolation, so to make the graphical process more intuitive and accurate, we can plot the EV and PV data on stacked bar diagram. As shown here, the cumulative amounts of EV and PV are plotted as two stacked bars, with labels for the time periods. The PV bar has 12 time periods corresponding to planned duration of 12 weeks, whereas EV bar shows 15 time durations. ES can be easily computed for any time period by projecting the EV value for that period from the EV bar at top onto the PV bar below. For example, at the end of period 8, value of EV is $1,900. When projected on PV bar, we can see that 7 complete periods of PV have been earned. Additional increment can be calculated as percentage of planned value earned in period 8. Thus value of earned schedule is approximately 7.29 weeks. Value of time-based schedule variance can be easily calculated as number of status period, 8, minus the value of earned schedule, 7.29. So time-based schedule variance is approximately 0.71 weeks. Time-based schedule indicators can be computed from earned schedule data. These indicators behave appropriately and consistently for all phases of project as compared to their cost-based counterparts. As shown here, time-based schedule variance SVT, ranges from negative 0.1 week at start to negative 3 weeks at the end of project. This indicates that the project finished late by 3 weeks. On the other hand, the cost-based schedule variance, SV, improves to $0 over the last third part of project after being negative for the first two-third part of the project. This is counterintuitive for a project finishing late. Similarly, time-based schedule performance index, SPIT, behaves consistently through the project, ending at 0.8 indicating 80% schedule efficiency at the end. The cost-based schedule performance index, SPI, concludes at 1.0 at the end of project implying perfect schedule performance. This again is counterintuitive for a project finishing late. One of the benefits of using ES is the ability to predict project completion time more accurately. We can calculate time-based independent estimate at completion, IEAC, T, which is a statistical estimate of total time for completing project work. In the diagram, an early trend line at the end of period number 2, 
predicts project duration of about 15 weeks or a delay of about 3 weeks, while an intermediate trend curve drawn at period number 6, projects to a duration of about 16 weeks or a delay of about 4 weeks compared to the planned duration of 12 weeks. Independent estimate for project completion date, IECD, can be easily calculated by adding IEAC, T, to project start date. To complete schedule performance index or TSPI, forecasts future schedule efficiency required by a project team to achieve projected schedule outcomes. TSPI value above 1 indicates that the project team needs to work at a higher efficiency to utilize remaining time, while a value below 1 indicates that even lower level of performance may achieve the target schedule. Based on research, when TSPI is greater than 1.1, the projected outcome, meaning planned or estimated project duration, is likely to be unachievable. A value less than 1.1 suggests that schedule delay may be recoverable if timely and corrective action is planned. As shown in the graph, by period number 6 when TSPI value is 1.09, it is clear that achieving original schedule of 12 weeks is quite difficult. The project manager has a few options, one is to have the project team work more efficiently for the remaining time. Other option is re-estimating and re-baselining to increase project duration, which will also increase cost. To summarize, earned schedule is derived from available EVM data. ES concept provides time-based schedule indicators. ES indicators behave consistently and do not fail for late finish projects. Schedule prediction is more accurate than prediction by cost-based schedule indicators. With Wizable's upcoming EVM and ES analytics tool, EVM data can be analyzed to get deeper insights into the health of a project than traditional EVM analysis. Wizable's EVM and ES analytics tool can be used at project or task level where EVM data is available. Summary data such as periodic and cumulative ES, SV, T, indicators such as SPI, T, and TSPI, estimates like IEAC and IECD, and charts are available to be made part of periodic monitoring and reports. With these charts and indices, project managers can see trends in the estimated completion date and cost, and decide when rebaselining may be appropriate. Wizable is an integrated solution to manage all aspects of running a projectized service business. To know more about Wizable, please visit www.wizable.com or email info at wizable.com.